When we think about roads, we usually focus on where they take us, not what they're actually made of. But the surface beneath your tires plays a huge role in how smooth, safe, and durable your ride is, especially if you've ever hit a pothole the size of a small crater. So today, we're digging into the top five best road surfaces, ranked based on performance, cost-effectiveness, durability, and how they behave under stress. Some of these might surprise you. And no, it's not just about asphalt versus concrete. There's more variety under our wheels than most people realize. So let's break it all down right here on History of Simple Things. Starting off at number five, we have the humble gravel road. If you've ever driven through a countryside trail or remote area, you've likely experienced this one. Gravel roads are essentially made by spreading crushed stone or rock fragments over a base layer of compacted soil. There's no fancy bonding agent here. Gravity and friction are the only things keeping it all in place. While gravel is cheap and easy to install, it comes with some major trade-offs. These surfaces can become dusty in dry weather, muddy in rain, and they're prone to washouts. They also require constant maintenance, like regrading and reapplying stone. But they do have their charm. Gravel is flexible and can conform to natural land contours, making it ideal for remote, low-traffic areas. It's also surprisingly forgiving when it comes to water drainage. Still, it's not the kind of surface you'd want for high-speed traffic or heavy loads. So, gravel lands at number five, not because it's bad, but because it's really best suited for roads less traveled. At number four, we've got chip seal, sometimes called tar and chip. Think of it as the middle ground between gravel and full-blown asphalt. It starts with a thin layer of hot liquid asphalt, which is then covered with a layer of crushed stone. The stone is rolled in to embed it into the asphalt binder. The result is a textured surface that offers better grip than gravel and slightly more durability. Chip seal is often used for resurfacing rural roads or as a cheaper alternative to asphalt paving in suburban neighborhoods. It's quick to apply and it does a decent job of sealing out water and adding traction. However, it's not the smoothest ride in the world. If you've ever driven on a chip seal road, you've probably noticed the distinctive crunch under your tires and the occasional loose rock bouncing around. Over time, those rocks can come loose and cause windshield chips or tire damage. But when budget constraints are in play, chip seal gets the job done with a decent balance of performance and cost. It's not perfect, but it's functional and widely used for a reason. Sliding into the number three spot is the all too familiar asphalt road. Also known as bitumen, this is what most urban roads, highways, and parking lots are paved with. Asphalt is made by mixing aggregates like crushed stone and sand with a petroleum-based binder. It's then heated and poured over a compacted base before being smoothed out by rollers. What makes asphalt so popular is its versatility and ease of maintenance. It provides a smooth ride, handles heat relatively well, and can be resurfaced without tearing up the entire road. In colder climates, it has a tendency to crack due to freeze-thaw cycles, but patches are easy to apply. One of asphalt's key advantages is that it's flexible. It can expand and contract without crumbling as easily as more rigid materials. Plus, it's quick to lay down, making it perfect for high traffic zones that can't afford long closures. The downside, it's a petroleum product, so its environmental footprint is heavier than some alternatives. Still, its sheer dominance on city roads and freeways tells you everything you need to know. It just works. But when we're talking about longevity and strength, asphalt has a couple of rivals that surpass it. 
Coming in strong at number two is Portland Cement Concrete. Now, if you've ever noticed the bright, pale colored roads, especially in places like highways, airport runways, or heavy industrial areas, chances are you were looking at concrete. Unlike asphalt, concrete is a rigid pavement made by mixing cement, water, and aggregates into a thick slurry that hardens over time. What sets concrete apart is its incredible durability. While asphalt might last 15 to 20 years before needing major work, concrete can keep going for 30 to 40 years with proper maintenance. It's resistant to fuel spills, extreme heat, and heavy loads, which makes it ideal for places where road abuse is common. It's also less prone to rutting and deformation under truck traffic, but it's not without flaws. Concrete is expensive, both to install and repair. It takes longer to cure, meaning longer construction closures. And once it cracks, repairs are not as simple as slapping on a patch. You often have to cut and replace entire slabs. It's not the most forgiving material, but when you need something to last decades, concrete brings serious staying power to the table. Still, there's one surface that goes even beyond concrete in some extreme conditions. At number one, we have a lesser known but highly advanced road surface, perpetual pavement. This isn't a single material, but rather a multi-layer design strategy, usually involving multiple courses of asphalt engineered in such a way that only the top layer ever needs replacing. The lower layers are designed to be strong, yet flexible enough to absorb strain without cracking. The genius of this method lies in its sustainability. When the top layer begins to wear out, which usually takes about 15 to 20 years, it can simply be milled off and replaced without touching the underlying structure. This means the road can literally last forever, hence the name. Perpetual pavement is ideal for high-volume highways, where closing the road for major repairs is just not practical. It offers a smooth ride, high durability, and lower life cycle costs over the long run. Although it requires more investment up front, the savings over time, combined with fewer traffic disruptions, make it a top-tier choice. It's an incredible fusion of asphalt convenience and concrete-like longevity but with added resilience built into its design. Engineers love it, and so do commuters, especially those who hate potholes with a passion. So, whether it's the no-frills gravel road taking you to a cabin in the woods, or the ultra-durable perpetual pavement keeping your city's expressway in top shape, each road surface has its own unique role to play. It all comes down to choosing the right material for the right job. Durability, cost, traffic load, climate, every factor shapes what goes beneath our wheels. And next time you're driving, take a look down at the road. You might just start noticing details you never paid attention to before. The science of road surfaces is a lot more fascinating than it first appears, and it's always evolving. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.